Hi, my name is Carlo Grisafi, and I'm an IoT developer advocate at ARM. Today, I want to show you how to run a convolutional neural network on this little device right here, which is an OpenMV cam running a Cortex-M7 processor. The way that we're going to do this is that we're going to do some clever image processing methods to not pass the entire image to the convolutional neural network, but instead we're going to find blobs of the colors that we're looking for, so red versus green, we're going to put a bounding box around them and that's what we're going to pass to the convolutional network running on this device. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing you'll want to do is get the following GitHub repository, which contains all the project files, including a pre-trained model, which you can use off the bat provided that the cups you have at home are similar to the ones that I have. Otherwise, you'll want to retune the parameters such as the color and the width and the height of the cups and retrain the model for your particular set of cups. So you want to go into the proof of concepts folder, then into the vision folder, finally into the OpenMV cup detect folder. Inside the OMV underscore Python folder, we have the cups detection.py. That's the Python script that we're going to load into our OpenMV camera. Then in the neural networks folder, we have the TF Lite folder, which has the pre-trained model that you can use off the bat. For a more detailed description on how to retrain the model, please check the link in the description below. Finally, once you connect your OpenMV camera into your computer, you should put the CUPS detection script as well as the train model into the camera and you should be good to go. After that, you can run the script and test it out. So here are the results that we got. As you can see, when we have one cup, we are counting one on the top number. Then when we have two red cups, we count two cups. Finally, when we introduce another cup, a green cup, we now get a number one at the bottom, indicating that there's just one green cup. I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.